Welcome in this place. We welcome you, Jesus, right in this place. Can I get a witness out there? <laughs> Everybody, come on, join in with us. Come on, choir. Welcome in. Welcome in. This place. This place. I want the anointing to come in here. I want burdens to be removed. Welcome Yokes to be destroyed. Worshipper right here. The I give it to you. The highest praise. Oh, well, I guess the person who inspired me musically uh, at first was um, James Cleveland, the late James Cleveland. I remember um, my dad was living in America for one year and six months, and he brought back um, when he came back to London a an album, uh, Savoy Record. Uh, with songs like Give It To Me, I'll Bear It, and um, songs Lord Help Me To Hold Up. And uh, I was just fascinated, because it was the first time we had gospel music like, like that in England, as, as, as most of our stuff were more West Indian orientated. And so I heard all this stuff, I was like, wow, and then I was just crazy about America, I wanted to go to America. Um, and then I got another album, uh, which was James Cleveland and Aretha Franklin, and that was just, that blew my mind. Come on, everybody. I need you to move your body. I need you to show up all over the world. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Then the next turning point is when my mother uh, brought me to America and I was able to go to uh, uh, our General Assembly at that time. We were First Born Church of the Living God. That was before we became Kojic. Um, uh, we, after we left Kojic, rather, we went over to um, First Born Church of the Living God and uh, we went to this General Assembly um, in Waycross, Georgia. And while I went there, I met this guy named Douglas Miller um, and it was just incredible. I remember first walking in you heard a choir and you know in the in the General Assembly they had different district choirs and so I'd like you'd go in and the first day was Central Diocese Choir and I heard the choir and I went wow this is a great choir and then afterwards I went to another session and I went, no this choir is good and by the time I got confused because every choir was great. But what's so good about it was um, at the end you, you had what you call the international choir so everybody joined in and I was able to sing in the choir and it totally, totally changed my life. After that I wanted to be Douglas Mill, I was trying to sing like him. Though the storm keep on raging in my life. In the sanctuary. In the As I've been saying, the album started five years ago. We were working on this album and um, what happened really was um, after we had done Live in London with Donnie McClurkin and we saw the response because we uh, was a part of that project. In fact, I knew Pastor McClurkin uh, through a friend of mine, Lorraine, who introduced me to him. And then uh, he came to our Holy Convocation and preached for us. And I think it was our midnight services, we were teaching him all these West Indian songs. And then obviously uh, when he did the album, 
he wanted to capture that kind of uh, flair that we had. And so after that, then we decided, right, we want to put out our album, which became a major warfare after that, because um, gave our album to someone and it didn't work out. It took us a while to get it back and just so much warfare, hence the reason it took us five years to get it out. Preaching in America, well, um, different, and it's been, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm so humbled to know that America has inspired me, uh, inspired us, really, and, um, and I sometimes have to, you know, just give God the glory when I'm on a certain platform preaching, uh, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm in America preaching. I didn't believe America wanted to know me. To give you some room, because the demon buster is here tonight. I've been sent by the Holy Ghost for you to break generational curses. Move your hands in the air. Swipe back principalities. by the Holy Ghost to bring a people into the promise. I've been sent by the Holy Ghost to tell some people after today, after this conference, you're about to step in to a great time in your life. You're about to step in an area of blessing that you have never seen before. I'm preaching in major conferences and um, I'm in, in such a demand I can't believe the many, 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 many um, invitations I have and I'm on television all over the world to God be the glory. Please. 